So, uh, a minute ago it crossed my mind to uh, that little saying that Paul Harvey had, that video that Paul Harvey had, if I were the devil. Now, I know Paul Harvey has only been gone for probably 10 years now. I, I mean, I used to hear him over the road when I was driving truck. I don't recall them having a station in Oklahoma, at least in Oklahoma City with Paul Harvey. But when I was driving truck for a living, I remember listening to his stuff uh, ever so often. And, uh, you know, I, I know that I ran across that if I were the devil or that other one that he had where he was portraying God. I won't say I like the portraying God video as much as, uh, some of his other videos because he had a lot of he had a lot of videos that he made like that or at least a handful of him and that one that he made if I were the devil I know that he was alive to witness a lot of that he was alive to witness a lot of uh, how society was at the time of his death uh, of course, he was a public, I mean, a, a speaker, radio broadcaster, and, uh, you know, I know Ronald Reagan had a lot of good wisdom messages for people out here. Things he didn't necessarily prophesy, but things that he said that could ruin America and uh, like socialism and uh, liberalism I mean I know there have been good, some, a lot of good people that were liberals but not everybody it, it's kind of like a Christian out here and a Baptist some believe like Baptist some believe one thing and some believe another. Just giving an example that not every liberal is going to have the same thoughts as every liberal out here. But I know at the end of the day that what Ronald Reagan said is coming true and has been coming true same with Paul Harvey. Now again, I know Paul Harvey was around to witness God being taken out of schools. And because there have been a lot of pastors for a lot of years now that thought that the, the tribulations was going to happen in their lifetime because they saw society falling apart the fabric of society or whatever that little saying is and uh, but I know he's right I know both of these guys were both right and smart individuals there's a, uh, there a lot of smart individuals out here uh, that had a lot of wisdom Of course, at the end of the day, there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna speak about anybody specific. Um, but I know that these things have, are coming true and have been coming true. But like I said, I guarantee you, Paul Harvey witnessed a lot of this. What used to be good is bad, and what is what used to be what used to be bad is good, and what used to be good is kosher. That's what he said in this, in that, in that video. 
and I definitely know that parents can't uh, parents don't have the right like they used to with their children you know I just got done listening the other day and this girl made this girl actually said something in a video and right after she made this video in Canada it happened and I wish I would have never unsubscribed from this woman I won't say any of her messages were about God but she talked about how uh, same sex I mean uh, not same sex but uh, if somebody wanted to change their sex that right after she brought this up in a video they passed a law in Canada where parents don't have the right but see here's the deal this same sex thing homosexuality and all this this should have never even been in society or children would never even have any knowledge of this stuff if this stuff was not even in society it would have ne it would have never been a knowledge for people to think about there goes a couple of doves just like homosexuality should not be pushed I again I know what homosexuals wanted when they wanted when they're what they wanted it legal and everything like that they wanted it where if uh, if two people were together that they would be able to have benefits if somebody died if they were in a relationship but their relationship is just like a marriage between a man and a woman it's a it's a day-to-day a -day thing it's a day-to-day -day thing if somebody is even going to be together tomorrow when my friend told me that in the, when you're in the military and you're married to your first wife when you're in the military that whenever you get out of the military that benefits go to the very your first wife they don't go to if you get married again and I'm thinking why would somebody get benefits if you're not even married to them how could the benefits go to the wife that you're not even married to well that's irrelevant that's totally irrelevant there's a speed trap ahead well and I gotta watch myself because here it's 65 miles an hour not 69 with the speed I'm going right now 65 but uh I'm just trying to point something out that a minute ago I deleted a video talking about how society has fallen apart and why society has fallen apart is truly because God is not in people's lives out here not in Christians lives not in non-believers lives of course and uh, Now can you see why a pastor from a long time ago would have sit here and thought that the tribulations would have happened 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 40 years ago because society was going to the crap or back then? And the church has been preaching lies for a long time now. Satan has creeped into the church. Yes, Satan has. But don't base it off of that everybody that Satan filled in the church is based off of works-based salvation. That's the thing, is somebody's pointing fingers and a person has every right to point the finger back. Just these traditions of men's and doctrines of demons, like once saved is a is Satan that's creeped into the church. But don't don't get me wrong. If somebody out here thinks that they're saving themselves by doing something out here, then they have also been deceived. But when God isn't in a person's relationship, when somebody gets married, you can see why it ain't lasting out here. 
and why people out here are do I mean I I am pretty harsh when I sit here and say things like people not being able to keep their pants up and I hope people realize the reason why I say that because again I don't see how somebody can call themselves a Christian and they're out here committing adultery no I don't see how a pastor could could justify himself committing adultery and he's a and he's a person of God or how somebody has has committed these things that God is against and the church would say oh well you know it's just a uh, you know we'll overlook it you can't lose salvation oh yeah you're deceived you're deceived but it, it really, I mean, uh, why am I making this video? Because it does hurt. It does hurt to know that we have let our, we've let this life fall apart. And God gave us all the ample to opportunity to be right with him. And he knew when this was all going to fall apart. And, and this is the wicked generation. And most Christians are wicked in his eyes. And would not inherit the kingdom. They're under his wrath. They're a child of wrath just like non-believers. Again, you cannot tell me that, that all it takes is simply to believe in God. Because there have been a lot of people out here that has procrastinated. Ever turning their lives over to God because... They knew that they would not be living for God doing the things that they're doing. It is not simply believing. That's nothing but a bunch of garbage. Hello, hello, officer. Hello. Come on, buddy. I'm losing my speed here, man. Come on, dude. I moved over because you were I was letting you on the highway, man. But I'm just pointing this stuff out, man. I ain't pointing fingers and blaming no, no one personally. I hate that. Uh, I hate that the that I, I watched the video a minute ago. I don't know how much time I've got in this video, but uh, I know with no dads in the relationships today, no mothers in relationships today. I mean, there's more mothers than there are dads out here in relationship uh, uh, with their children. But there has been a lot of things in this life that have affected children, made us be the way we're out here doing. Uh, I, I mean, I just, like I said, it's sad because I can promise you if I sit here and said things to people in this video, you would think, well, yeah, you're talking about me. I, heck, I'm talking about myself. I mean, I have never been married and I don't have no children, but it doesn't make no difference. I mean, I believed in God as a child and I turned away from God and I lived the life that I wanted to because the Bible is all, is all true. I was wicked. I mean, I was uh, evil in the wound and I was evil at youth and I was in rebellion and some of us are still in rebellion. And uh, I mean, just because I haven't been married doesn't mean that I'm not throwing myself under the boat. I mean, I, I have to humble myself here and at least tell the truth here. Just because I just because I wasn't married and I, I've got no children doesn't mean that I that I'm not right. I mean that I was doesn't mean that I wasn't wrong. I, is that, I, uh, well, whatever. Well, either way, it doesn't make no. I mean, it makes a, a huge difference in the world that people would ever accept the truth. That, that, that even some of this started before the 60s. When Tom Brokaw made, when I made that comment a couple of times in videos at Tom Brokaw, when he was a, on his reception, retirement reception speech that I watched a video of one day where he professed that the 60s were in America, it was already starting to go downhill before the 60s because people were doing things that they shouldn't have been doing even in the 50s and 40s, having sex out of wedlock and stuff. And, being in sin even at that point in time, but it wasn't out of hand. And now it is out of hand in society. People don't care about nobody but themselves out here. It's me, 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 me,
It's me, me, lovers of myself. I watched the video. I mean, I listened to a song the other day when I was at the truck stop where this person was talking about loving themselves in, a, in an actual song. Loving themselves, loving them. That's right, we're lovers of ourselves. That's right, that's right. Lovers of the ways of the world and not turning back to God. Well, we're running out of time. We're running, we're running out. What am I supposed to cry so you think that I, that I care? Almost about said a cuss word. All I know is at the end of the day, it's all about you and your relationship with God. No matter what's ever affected you in this life, man. I, I mean, I haven't had my life hasn't been as bad as other people out here. And and all this, all the life that's been worse than other people out here, other people out here that have had less worse of a life is all because of been a, because of me. All I know is that God was going to allow you to do what you wanted to do, just like God was going to allow me to do what I wanted to do. If you were going to be in sin, God was going to allow you to be in sin. If God was going to allow you to believe in lies over the truth or turn lies or believe in a lie over the truth, turn truth into a lie, God was going to allow you to do that. Yes. You were going to be your own demise. It may sit here and say in the Bible that God's throwing you in the lake of fire, but I'm going to tell you this right now. We're literally condemning ourselves in this life. God is not condemning us. As long as you know the truth, I mean, it, it really doesn't make a difference. I'm telling you, a guy argued with me. Oh, it says in the Bible, God's doing it. God's doing it. Yeah, but that's because he's got, he's the truth. And no one can blame God for us being in, being born into sin. This is a problem that Adam and Eve, I mean, we, we were supposed to come to the truth. This is not a God thing. I mean, it, it, it's not a God's fault. It's our fault. At the end of the day, the word's been there. I mean, God gave us all that ample opportunity to turn to him and live for him. Not to believe in man over God. And that's where the where the church is that's where cults have been if somebody out here wants to believe in a cult your local cult on the on the street corner the local cult on your on the street corner that you may belong to god was going to allow you to fall right into that trap hallelujah If you want to hate somebody and be a lover of yourself and love the and, and be a lover of the world, well, God was going to allow you to fall right into that trap. Nothing but a trap by Satan. Just like the lies the churches preach. Nothing but a trap. Well... a free will thing at the end of the day nobody lost their free will if I want to be in sin that's my free will if I want to be in, in uh, the opposite of God what, what's that in object not what's that word what's the word um, I know I'm running out of time in this video if I want to grieve the Holy Spirit If I want to grieve the Holy Spirit, I got free will to do it. If I want God to be my enemy, I got free will to do it. Nobody ever lost that free will. Not saying you believe in God, not, not nothing, not nothing.
But believe me, on your local street corner, a lot of them are nothing but colts. If they're gonna lead you astray by the masses, hook, line, and sinker, there's a colt. A nothing but a delusion. All these people out here, like I said, the majority of people out here, the ones that, the, the ones full of pride, oh my goodness, oh, it's so special, it's so special. What was I gonna say? I got thrown off there. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't say they didn't have the Holy Spirit. It just, uh, I don't wanna bring up any denominations, man. I made a big mistake. Even bringing up Lauren Daigle in that video yesterday. God could have sit there and pointed out to all of them in the wilderness for 40 years. He could have, he could have every five seconds, hey, 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 hey. Every five seconds, somebody was gonna go do something wrong. He gotta point it out. Hey, 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 hey. Nope. Let them fall right on their rump, right on their tush. Being disobedient to him. That's right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> is this society today? This is it. This is it, baby. Well, either way, i just trying to point this out. Maybe somebody will be like, Oh, okay, I never looked at something like that. Okay, I got you. I got you, Jeb. I have to keep on making videos like this. I know a lot of these videos, I'm saying the same thing. Well, look at Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of the darkness and into the light. Oh, and by the way, remember, go back and watch that, If I Were the Devil. What was one of the very things he said? Talking about darkness. Yeah. <laughs> One of the very first things he talked about was the darkness. And this world right now is in darkness. If I Were the Devil by Paul Harvey, go and watch that YouTube video. Listen to what he says. But of course, like I said, I know some of this stuff was happening in his life. So he was witnessing it right there, right there in the moment. Because I know pastors have thought for 30 or 40, 50, 60 years that, that, that Jesus could come back because everything was getting worse and worse. Society was getting worse and worse. And Jesus will be back and some people will be ready and some people will not be ready. Being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. Good day.